mache, these are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need the Elmer's paper mache paste. I've pre-mixed it. It's in the adhesives cabinet. There'll be even more. Get one of these containers from the adhesives cabinet. Pour some in. If you're going to have any left over, pour it back into the container. Never, uh, never down the drain. You're going to use paper towels. The paper towels are really thin and they help to have like a nice smooth finished surface. You're going to want to rip up a bunch of it, like a huge pile, in pieces about this big. Take the paper mache paste, put it onto the project, then put the piece of paper towel on top, a little bit more paste, and you want two to three layers like that over the whole body. You shouldn't be able to see the masking tape. When doing the fins, you might want a little bit bigger of a piece, depending on the size of your fin. And you'll lay a larger sheet on the fin. So the bigger the piece when you're doing it on the body, you might have it wrinkle and fold, and then that won't give you as smooth of a surface. It could give you a nice texture though, so that might be something that you like. Then you could take the scissors, trim a little bit of this away and then when this top piece dried you could flip your fish over and then try to apply the paper mache to the bottom but while it's still wet I want to add a couple layers to this part of the fin and then when all the paper mache is dry and you've done both sides of the fin you'll trim off the edge and then you can seal it with some Mod Podge and I'll show you that adhesive and just make sure that the paper towel gets covered and is wet. You'll be able to tell that it's wet. It'll change color slightly. You could fold them over, but it might not be as smooth. So if you really want the fins to stay sort of thin and delicate, then do it like this. Do another layer on the back. You could use a tack to kind of hold it up. Let it dry, and then you could flip it over and paper mache the other side. Again, two to three layers and you shouldn't be able to see the tape through it. And then that's pretty much it till we start doing the painting. Can you turn that off please?